Hi, everyone. <laughs> Welcome back. It's Miss Kristen and... It's so well. Hi, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for joining us tonight. We are going to be discussing the book Stargazing by Jen Wang. So this is our book chat for tonight. Uh, we decided to focus on graphic novels for this school year, basically. Um, just they're easier reads, quicker reads, uh, just fun, enjoyable books. So Stargazing is what we will be discussing tonight. Okay, so Miss Noel, where should we start? Well, first of all, I guess, Miss Kristen, how did you like the book? Overall, I liked it. Um, it was a, it's a really good story about two friends who are completely different from each other, and yet they still find a way to connect and become friends. Um, I can definitely identify with Christine, who is more on the quiet side, shyer side. Uh, she's definitely more like me, and it's, it's fun to have a friend who you are good friends with, but different from you, and they can pull you out of your comfort zone, which is what Moon did for Christine, which is great. I was just going to say something similar. Um, I just, what I like about this book is that it's kind of showing, I guess, like two different kind of um, households, I guess, in a way, because it mm -hmm. seems like Christine's parents are raising her a little bit more strict, and um, Moon's mother is a little bit like more, you know, loosey-goosey, like you can wear nail polish, you can listen to K-pop and kind of what you were saying before about um, friends pulling you out of your comfort zone. And I mean, we've all had a couple friends like that. And I think that that's really awesome, like that you um, can know people who are just kind of like in a, a different kind of environment or, you know, however from you. And um, I think they kind of give you a chance to grow, like you said, and come out of your shell, because I think that's happened um, for myself, at least over the years, <laughs> knowing different people. Even well, this whole quarantine has pulled me out of my shell because getting on camera like this is just not I know. my favorite thing did to you, do. <laughs> did you ever think we were going to be such professional about this? Right? I Who knew? certainly did not. <laughs> <laughs> we're getting our own show soon, guys. Right? <laughs> <laughs> but I, I really liked stargazing, and I think it was interesting, too, just to show an audience, too, um, because these um, – girls here are two Asian girls, but um, kind of, uh, like I said, like two different households, you can't clump people all into one, one group. Like this is kind of showing here. Um, I think Jen Wang talks about it at the end that um, there are all kinds of different um, groups of Asian American families um, when she was growing up, like in her neighborhood. So this is just kind of, I, I think a really interesting you know, perspective about how we're all kind of different, but the same. And, and, you know, everybody's kind of going through something. And then, you know, we have, you know, Moon here who is super different and super cool. I loved her. Mm -hmm. um, but she, you know, has some other things going on, you know, in the background behind her, you know, cool girl persona, which I, I think what makes her cooler, she doesn't even know how cool she is. <laughs> yes, I agree. And she just, yeah. she doesn't care what anybody thinks or says or which whatever. I just think we should all strive for that. Yes. <laughs> right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. So it is interesting that this book is based on the author illustrator's life loosely. Um, Cause she herself, I don't want to give anything away, but the issue I know, that- I'm trying to like Right, bounce, that. yeah, <laughs> bounce around it. Um, the issue that Moon has is actually something that happened to her when she was a childhood, and she said it's, you know, it's a part of her. It's part of who she is and who she became, and it's just really interesting. And we were also talking before um, that the character that is like the popular person in the school, um, you know, people kind of put her on a pedestal, but she actually genuinely is a nice person. And, and sometimes, you know, they author illustrators, you know, twist that and turned, you know, the, the popular person into the not so nice person, but yes, um, those um, nice uh, schoolyard, what did I say? Trops kind of thing. Yeah. Yes. Like you have the mean popular girl, you have the, the nerdy, um, brainiac and, and like that kind of and there that doesn't seem to be happening here which I think is awesome because I think it's a better um picture of reality like we can all be friends there's no like clicks there doesn't have to be so yeah I don't know I recommend this book um and hope that you all check it out we do have copies that we can put on hold for you so 
All right. I, I really do like the book. Yeah, me too. And I hope you guys do too. <laughs> All right. Thanks for joining. Oh, I almost forgot to mention. Um, we will meet up again in March, April, May. And the next one that we decided to read is called Shirley and Jamila Save Their Summer. So I guess it being March, the end of winter, we started thinking about summer already, and I think that's okay. <laughs> so it's, um, again, about two friends, and the one ends up being a neighborhood go-to kid detective, which sounds kind of fun. So there's like a mystery to solve in this one. I always wanted to be a kid detective, so I'm, I'm hoping that... <laughs> <laughs> you can live vicariously I I read so through much the story. Nancy Drew. <laughs> Good. So, so join us in two months for that one then too. All right. Thanks everybody. Bye-bye. Take care everyone. Bye.